，一个零点一的。You can start whenever you want, Maria. Yeah. Oh, everybody. Good morning. My name is Mani Mistry, and I'm going to share a sex, uh, session today with Sitoji. And uh, I hope you know you all enjoy it. And thank you for joining today. So, <clears throat> what we will do? We'll start with Omkara, then we do some poster uh, correction, and we do some nitric oxide. And yogi, yogi, and then Surya Namaskar, and then hopefully she told she will arrive, and we can do the rest of the asans. <clears throat> so first of all, you should sit in a Gyan Mudra with your back straight, and we will, <clears throat> we do Omkara three times. Press your hands and rub your hands together. Lower your eyes. Open slowly, and then pass the energy all over your face, the back, your neck, and the rest of the body. Take a deep breath. Just arms. Right. Always prepare you for the pranam, and it stimulates your vagus nerves as well, so it relaxes more. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do some correct the posture exercise. So we will start with. Uh, or <clears throat> oh, before I start the exercise, just a health and safety warning. Please uh, do not do um, kapalbhati. Kapalbhati is a <clears throat> is a forceful breathing. Is so people, uh, I mean, um, people who had a surgery within the six months, please do not do it. And a pregnant lady is not allowed to do it. Just do pastika. And then the people who've got a high blood pressure or a heart problem, do it slowly. So it's one second, one stop, and you do it 60 per minute. So the <clears throat> people who can't do it, do it slowly, please. And if you can't, for any physical exercise, please do not go forward. If you've got a back pain or don't bend forwards, if you've got hernia. So anything that you can't do, please do not do it. Just, just do it whatever you can, look after your body. And then if you do get tired, please slow down or you stop and do the bastika. And then you can start again. So we do the correction first. So if you just put your hands together, then breathe in and out. Your shoulder, then you could just swing, beginning up. Next, next, you do the hands together, and then this time you're going to breathe and you go forward, make sure your back is straight, and you hold it, and then breathe out as you come back. So breathe in, go forward. Come back again. Hold it. Come back last time. And next, we will do the namaste. So make sure your hands are tight. So pushing each other. You breathe in and you hold it. 
just make sure you breathe in tight so you're <coughs> expanding your lungs and putting more pressure on your. <coughs> so, breathe in. <coughs> breathe out again. <coughs> breathe out. Now, we're going to do the same, but we're going to breathe in, you go up, you breathe out, down. So we're going to do five times, Oops, ten times, sorry. <coughs> Relax. Next, we're going to do with the face, hold on your face, then we're going to hold the arms. And reverse. Expand your lungs as well as it removes all the fat from underneath your arms. Next, we will do expand the chest again. So, hands in the front. So, you breathe in and breathe out. And relax. Next, keep the hands straight and we're going to do the scissor. So, breathe in. And then and that, when you do the next one, you go on the top. So you <laughs> Relax. <clears throat> next we will do, we're going to cup our hands at the back and you breathe in and you breathe out. So then, Relax. Next, while your hands are at the back, so you just hold your hands. You can either interlock it or you can just hold your wrist and then breathe, breathe in and you stretch it out and look up. Hold the breath and breathe out again. And breathe out one more time. Relax. Next, we will do move your make your face, and you're going to move that in a circle, and make sure you move your shoulder at the same time, with the in and out. And reverse. Manager. This one I tried to, I was practicing last night. A lot of people are turning the hand. So do it this way from top, take it up, oh, then, go, then you use your shoulder. Oh. Yes, follow me. That now you use your shoulder more often. I was trying new things and this, this seems better than the other one. And then the reverse also. Now you're using the whole shoulder up and down. Yes, excellent. Sorry, this is but button. <laughs> Oh, okay. Right. You can see the difference. You can see the difference how your shoulder yeah. completely moves. Yeah, you that's move your arms. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Hope. Yeah. Next, we're going to do eagle pose. It's called Garud uh, Garud Garud San uh, pose. So people who can, they can't do it. You can sit in this position, and then you have your arms. And people who can sit in the of course, just if you can, this one, it's like a correct way of doing it in your right hand. And then you bring your other hand together. And then you look up. So wait, I'll just do it. And then look up all about it. And you change over. You do that with your left hand. Oh, I did it wrong, right, didn't Yeah, sorry, left hand, yeah. And 
and relax. <coughs> Next, we will do. If you can touch, if you put your raise your right hand, go back on your left hand. See if you can touch it. And then do kapalbati. And then just swap over the left hand, right? People who I, I haven't mastered it yet, but I'm still trying. But we can use the belt or anything that you have. So try to bring your other hand up. And relax. <coughs> the next. We do namaste at the back. People who can do it or can't do it can just hold your hand there. I can just about to do it a little bit. <laughs> now we do kapalvati. Relax. <clears throat> Next, you do the shoulder exercise. So we go up as you breathe in and breathe out. <clears throat> Next, <coughs> what we do? Reverse. Relax. Take a deep breath if you, you're tired. And you're going to do a lung meridian. So we're <clears throat> going to tap it. This is L1. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and then also eight, yeah. And the next, we took we go L five, so it just where the um, elbow is, and then just at the side, and you pump as you breathe in and out. The same on the right hand. Then we do L7, so you put your thumbs together and then where your middle, put all three fingers and where your middle finger, like this, you bring it in and you put on that point, press on that point, you bring it in and out. Do the same on the other side. Then we do L9, so where the thumb is, and then where it meets the wrist. So you do that. The opposite, okay. Next, we will do the lymph fluid. We're going to pump that, so if you put your Fingers there, and where the middle finger is, where you're going to pump the lymph fluid. The same over there. Lymph fluid is <coughs> help to, this will help to flow easily, and also it removes the dead cells. And when people who suffer from sickness, when they're traveling, they can do it, <coughs> you can press this point as well. And relax. <clears throat> Next, we do the pressure point. So we will clap nine times. Eight, 
Next, we're going to do nitric oxide. So I hope everybody knows what nitric oxide is. It's a gas that mixes with the oxygen and it's open up your nasal passage when you are doing humming and it prevents, uh, it helps with the fight infection and it's, um, <clears throat> it mixes with the oxygen. So it's um, open up your blood vessels. So your blood pressure, your blood will flow um, um, slowly in your body and uh, it will lower your blood pressure as well. And you get rid of the carbon dioxide. So we will do humming to open up your nasal passage. So we will do five times. So you put your hands over your ears and you do hum. You take a deep breath and you hum, and then you then you stop and then you get another deep breath. So we do five times. So you breathe in. Mm -hmm. Going to do some physical exercise for nitric oxide that will help to move on your blood <coughs> circulation. So we all stand up. <coughs> people who can do it, you can be people who can sit down, you can do it. So we will do four exercise. So you breathe in and out. So we do. Dead men's walk. Three times of the time limit, you only do it once. 
But when you're at home, you can do it three times a day. And don't forget to wash your hands and do this exercise when you come from outside. You're going to start jogging just a bit. Take a deep breath if you're tired. So with the jogging, jogging again, make sure that you know you look after yourself, do what you can. So what we start doing. Okay. Breathe in and out. Legs up. The next we get to do. Oh. <clears throat> you don't have to jump. I'm so used to it because I used to do this when I was in gym, so I have to jump. <laughs> but you don't have to. <clears throat> uh, next, you breathe in and out. And we do this again. <clears throat> or you can do it with, a, with, with on your hips if you can. Quite comfortable. Relax. You do the knee one now. So put your hands, support your hands on your knee. And you do it. One, two, clockwise. Four, five. Grand keep clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. And then leg apart. And then you go forward. And then you go out. One, Two and three. Now do the reverse. Bring go out, bring it in. One, two, and three. And relax. Then leg apart <coughs> and in the front. As you breathe in, you go and hold it. And breathe out and go on the other side. You go five times. One, two, three. Four. And relax. Then turn on your side. And put your hand on your knee and stretch your other leg. Breathe in, hold it. Breathe out. And go other side. Breathe in, hold it. And then the next one, put your hand on your hips. Breathe in, hold it, looking up, breathe out, left, breathe in, hold. Other one, put your hand on, do namaste. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, and the left, breathe in, and relax. <coughs> Next, we're going to open the chest. So you breathe in, then you breathe out. So breathe in, <coughs> breathe out from the front. <coughs> oh, start, <coughs> relax. Next, we're going to straighten the back on your side. So right hand out. Uh, over your ears, and you breathe in, and you bend down, and then you touch your knee. If you can't touch your ankle, you go at the back, right at the bottom, and hold the breath. Then you breathe out, and then you go to the side. All right, left. Okay. Last time. <coughs> Relax. Now you're going to touch the opposite toes. So you're touching, you breathe in, and then you look back. <coughs> but don't come touch the toes and touch the knees. You feel dizzy, don't do it. And relax. One leg is so tired. Now you're going to do a star jump. So right leg out. The 
next one is the jump. Relax. The next one is the fast one. And relax. <coughs> Just forgot one more. So you're going to do the back and then bend down one. So you breathe in, breathe out. One, two, three. Four, five, and relax. Next, we do Tadasan. The hands on there. You breathe in on your toes, hold, and then breathe out. Again, down. Last time, and down. Leg apart a little bit, and then stretch. On the left, hold, come back. On the right, come back. Left, breathe in, hold, and breathe out. Breathe in, hold, and breathe out. And relax. Hands in the front, and you breathe in, and go back, come back. Good for you. Moving up, rest as well. Lose weight. Yeah. Next, we will do right hand on your shoulder and left hand behind. You're breathing. And opposite. And relax. This is also help you with your spine as well. And the last one we will do, move it up, Jiga dance. Reverse. And relax. We do the side jump. So, <coughs> breathe in and out as you do it. Your feet go opposite. Relax. We're going to do Surya Namaskar now. So take a deep breath and blow up. Again, that was steps. So each other steps, you can't do it, don't worry. Just do whatever you can. It's also, Surya Namaskar is also good for your energy and hormone release. So we will do, you should be doing in the morning, the sunrise. So we go in a namaste position. So we do one. We breathe in. Put, put bend down. I mean bend, sorry. <laughs> we raise your hands, looking up the ceiling, and bend backwards if you can. And then you breathe it out. Touch your toes if you can. Breathe in, bring your right leg back, looking up. Put your left leg back, go into a mountain position. You can all see me. Then number six, knees down, chest down, chin down, and come up into Pujasan. Number seven, breathe out, go back into a mountain position. Bring the right leg forward. Number nine, number 10, left leg forward. Number 11, back up. And then number stay, number 12. All right. We do with the left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We do one more set with the right leg. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Thank you. Relax now. And sit down whenever. <coughs> We'll just take a do let's take a deep breath. Just the cup. I'll pass you over to Shitaji. Thank you. Let's start our Bhastika Pranayam. As you know, those who had a high BP and a heart problem, please do gently. We have to be with it. Gyan Mudra just <laughs> Mudra, we will do the lower part of lungs to expand. So with the chin, chin mudra and the kichri mudra, keep your eyes closed, keep your back straight, concentrate your third eye and focus on the lower part of your lungs is very important. What the mind thing, body delivered. So deep breathing, hold your breath. Breathe out. Deep breathing. Two and a half second. Positive vibrations. And breathe out. Keep going on. Now the Adi Mudra, bend your thumb inward inside and to press and then keep on your lap and focus on the upper part of your lungs. Feel the positive vibrations. You must feel the sound of the oceans in your ear, the waves of sea. Join your mind, body, and soul. Give out your monkey mind thoughts. Now we will do the Gyan Mudra the whole part of your lungs to expand. Focus on your lungs. Keep your eyes closed. Concentrate your third eye. Keep your back straight and enjoy the positive vibrations. The benefits of Bhastrika Pranayam, it expands your lungs. It also helps in energy, allergy. And when head and head get fresh air, you get more fit and health is good. 
It also helps in tree dosha and the blood circulation will increase. Relax. Now do the Merudan Mudra. Deep breath in and breathe out. This is for your spine. Those who had a sleep disc problem, sciatica problem, it helps you. Focus the lower part of your back spine. Now turn on the side like this way and breathe in and breathe out. The diaphragm just contract and expand. Now the opposite way, breathe in and breathe out. Keep your hands, the thumb up and do breathe in and breathe out. Relax, rub your hands up for direction, which gives you the positive energy. Warm up very well. Touch your eye with the normal temperature. Slowly, slowly open your eye and pass the energy to your whole body. Now over to Maniji. She will do with you the feet leg and butterfly. And then I will do the kapal bhati. So we'll stretch our legs. Just, just exercise the calf muscles. Would you breathe in and out? And when you're ready, sitting straight, put more your toes backwards and forwards as you breathe in and out. This is good for the arthritis, gout, and the cramp. <clears throat> you get in and out, and then you breathe in, and then walk back, breathe out, do 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. <clears throat> and then leg apart, and you just do it, tap it. Then both knees together, and then when you're going to rotate clockwise, one, two, breathe in and out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one, zero. This is also good for you if you've got ankle swelling. <clears throat> so you can do it anytime while you're sitting down. Next, we're going to do the knee. So if you support your knee, <clears throat> we're going to breathe and you're going to <clears throat> up. Down. One.
relax. <coughs> now we're going to circle it. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> Cycle. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. <coughs> we do with the same leg, the left leg. So, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. <laughs> then circle. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. <coughs> Cycle. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And with that. Next, we will <coughs> bring your leg, <coughs> right leg over your left thigh. And we're going to do hip <coughs> and thigh exercise. So you <coughs> support your ankle and then you breathe in, bring, it, bring your knee up. Hold it and breathe out. Hold it. Breathe out. Again. One. And down. Last time. Two. Just hold it for five seconds and then breathe out. And then now. Then go to <coughs> massage your fist. Circle your ankle. That's good for the ankle, for your feet, and reverse. Then you do all the pressure points on your toes, in the middle, and then get the fist and massage it. And you got your liver point at the front between your big toe and the second toe. There's a press there. And then next we can hold like a baby. Bring your right up. And then go ha 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 ha. Same doing it. Then relax. We do the same with the other leg. So bring it over your thigh. Then support your ankle. Then breathe in. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out. Hold it for a few seconds. Again, one, that's two. And down. Last time, breathe in, hold it, breathe out, hold it, and relax. <coughs> same with the same ankle. We rotate clockwise and then anti clockwise. Then do all the pressure points. All this exercise we can do when we are sitting down on the sofa or on the floor and massage it. You're activating all the organs when you do this. And then you <laughs> And relax. And the next, we're going to do the butterflies. <clears throat> It's good for your sciatica pain and also for the hip. So you just breathe in and out. The butterfly, I explained you the Kapal Bhati health and safety warning. In Kapal Bhati, those who are pregnant and those who had a six month operation, then please do not admit. And those who had a heart problem and high BP, please do gently. And those who had a menstruation period, they can do gently. So just follow the, and listen to your body. Let's start Kapal Bhati with different mudras. As you know, Kapal means forehead and Bhati means light. So it light up your face and one second, one stroke, the Kapal Bhati. Let's do with the Udan Mudra as the three fingers touch the tip of your thumb 
not like this way you must have to bring forward the end of your tip this will work so let's do for the double benefit we are the indians we always look for benefit <laughs> do that's true <laughs> your whole body it helps you relax now we will do the vayu mudra the index finger supposed to bend everyone had a different point so you bend yourself and then press with the thumb and you will get the vayu mudra the benefits of vayu mudra it helps in those who had a vayu gas related problem it helps you it also helps in arthritis knee pain and those who had a spine the neck problem it also helps you and increase your blood circulation so then let's do the kapalbhati one second one stroke at least to do 5 minutes and every day in the morning and evening with empty stomach to do the 15 minutes those who had a problem relax now i over to money bench she will do the grinding and makhanwala because okay. sitting a long Thank time you. we just uh, do the sukshma vyayam let's start money bench thank you okay stretch your legs again clench your hands together and you're going to as you breathe breathe in go back and breathe out as you go forward so breathe in and make a full circle so Three, four, five, relax <coughs> next you going to touch toes again opposite toes so if you open your legs again you, <coughs> you're touching the right toes with your left hand uh, right hand with the left toes and you look up and you breathe in and out as you do it so breathe in <coughs> and breathe out and you go back Relax. Next, we do the makhan. We do about twenty times. So we breathe in and out. So start with the back straight. This is a full yes. body exercise. Yes. We did it. That's Now right. I will do <laughs> carry on the another mudras with you. The prana mudra, just the prana mudra. The ring finger and pinky finger will touch the tip of your thumb 
and suppose to keep the two fingers straight, not like this way. When you do the mudra, it's very important to keep the right position. And then keep on your lap and do the prana mudra with kapal bhati. You can take a khichri mudra. It also helps you. Prana mudra, it has benefits of prana mudra, helps to energize your body. It also helps in your eyesight and boost your immune system. Keep going on the prana mudra with kapal bhakti. Keep your eyes closed, concentrate your third eye. Now we will do the Appan Mudra, middle two fingers will touch the tip of your thumb and the two fingers must be the straight. And then to the Appan Mudra, detoxify your body. All the toxins will be out and all internal organs get active. Relax. Now we will do the Sukshma Vayam. Keep your hands in the front and then breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out. You must need to push inward and out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Keep your hands straight. Don't put down. It helps you for your benefit. This is your time. Now keep your thumb inward inside and press and open. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six. Everyone do together. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, just the, your hands must be go up and down. You must do all together, not like yourself. No, listen to me and follow to me. Just take your hands up, breathe in, breathe out, down, up, down, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unity is very strength policy. You have to follow oneness is very necessary. Now make your fist and then join your hands together and all the muscles to make and then to make a round circle clockwise and anti-clockwise. The breathing. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now anti clockwise, ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now keep your hands on your shoulder. We just take your shoulders, keep everyone together, open and close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep your hands on the side. Then we just open and close, okay? So just open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep your hands in the front. And then when you go up, up one and then twist and then bring down, okay? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep your shoulders up and down. We just do the shoulder exercise. A deep breath in. Breathe out. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, focus on your shoulder, eight, nine, ten. Now make a round circle clockwise, breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out, two, three, Four, five. Now in the clockwise. Five, four, three, two, one. Quality is important, not the quantity. Okay, do less amount, but do the right way. Now you have to join your hands together. Keep your hands on your head and then take it back, push back and then take your hands up. Breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out. Turn on the left hand side, breathe in and hold your breath, breathe out. Go on your right hand side, hold your breath, Breathe out. Turn on on left, right side, and breathe out. One more time. Hold your breath. Breathe out. And relax. Now keep your hands in the middle, and then open and close. Two, three, four. Now keep your hands open and then make a round circle. Two, three, four. Anti clockwise. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Now I will do the neck and then eye. Let's do the neck exercise. Everyone keep your head in the middle. Take your head down. Try to touch your chin to chest. Now take your head up. Breathe in, hold your breath. Breathe out. Breathe in, hold your breath. Breathe out. Breathe in, hold your breath, breathe out. Last time, breathe in, hold your breath, 
breathe out. Focus on your neck. We are doing a neck exercise. Your mind must be focused on your neck. Now we will do the pendulum, the right hand side. Go on your right, hold your breath, breathe out. The left hand side. Come back in the center. Right. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center. Now turn on the side. Just breathe in first. Go on the side. And then come back in the center. Now again. Go on your left. Look at the back and then come back in the center. One more time. Right. Come back in the center. You must feel. And come back in the center. The last time. Those working on a computer all the time, it helps you. Those who have a spondylitis problem, it helps you. Make sure that if you had a spondylitis problem, then please listen to your body, don't do the exercise, okay? It helps you, but listen to your body, okay? Now make a round circle, keep your eye open, look at the circle up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, come back in the center, then again, anti-clockwise, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, and relax. Now we will do the eye exercise. Keep your eye, head your straight, back your straight. And then just with the eye, we will do the exercise up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Open your hands and then bring a little bit in the front. You can see with your eye, your thumb, nail. So look your right, left, Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and relax. Take your hand, the right hand in the front and the left hand on the side. Look your right nail, left nail, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and relax. This is for your retina, left hand in the front, right hand on the side, look your left nail, right, left, 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 right, and relax. Now look at your thumb and look for, for uh, on your wall or just in the forward. Look at your thumb, Forward, thumb, forward, thumb, forward, thumb, forward, thumb, forward, thumb, forward, and relax. Now look at your thumb, protracted kriya, don't blink your eye, keep your head straight and look at your thumb. Might be after a while, your eye will be get burning, might be watering, but it improves. You are activating your eye tissues. You can do the different, different ways, the tractor kriya by looking the sun in the morning and in the evening when it rises up. And also you can do with the dia he dia or the mustard oil dia look at the dia five minutes 
It improves your eyesight. I am sure you will look, your number will be decreased and without glass, you can read your newspaper or reading a book. It's very important. You must have to keep the trachea until you feel in your eye. More you do, more you get benefit. Relax. Now open your hands and make a clockwise and anti-clockwise the eyeball. So from right hand side to look down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, and center. Now turn, down, left, right, left. Just anti-clockwise, two, three, four, and five, and relax. Now rub your hands properly and warm up and take a positive energy. Then you to warm up and then you get heat in your eye, you see? In, breathe out, the positive energy will help you now then slowly, slowly open your eye and make a round circle and then pass the energy to your whole body. Okay. Now we will do the Surya Mudra. As you know, the Surya Mudra, the ring finger to press with the thumb and to do the Surya Mudra. The benefits of Surya Mudra, it helps the obesity diabetes and cholesterol as well, liver get active. It's very important to do the diabetes, those who had it, it's very important. Those who have diabetes, they must have to do before a start your lunch or breakfast or dinner, then to start the pumping. Let's money bin. Can you show all this exercise for the diabetes? Can you okay. pump? Yeah. First, you just activate your pancreas and the liver. So if you do that, just, just there, like that. You, your thumb is out. You're breathing in and out. So activate all your lungs, liver, spleen, kidney. And on the left side, you're doing your heart and the lungs. <coughs> now do the mandukasan, please. Do you want to do manduka? Okay. Mandukasan, yeah. <coughs> just hold you. <coughs> when you Sit in the vajasan or whichever or in the chair. Take a deep breath and make your fist. Make sure sorry, I just go a bit forward. <laughs> make sure it's together. And then you you breathe in and you breathe out forcefully. Then put your hand, put your fist on your navel, and then you come come down slowly. And then you look up. And do Kapal Bhati for 30, do 30 times Kapal Bhati. And then breathe slowly, <clears throat> breathe and then come up slowly. Now the Next. Sasana. 
Now we do the massage. So your left hand over the right hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you breathe in again, breathe out. This <laughs> bend down and look up. You can do Kapalbhati if you want, or you can just stay there. This will help to massage your spleen, liver, pancreas, and activate your pancreas as well to stimulate, to release the insulin. And you come up. You do one more time. So breathe in, breathe out. Your hands there, come down, and you look up. And then you breathe slowly and come up. Next we do. Don't So only one one time because time is less. Still, all the pranayam is left. That's why. Breathe in. Go back. So do one time and then come back. <coughs> breathe out. Do one more time. Breathe in. Go back. Come back and relax. <clears throat> Next, we will do Makrasana. Yeah. The left feet will be no, no. Left feet will be go on your right hand side. The left hand will go like, yeah. Or, yeah, right feet take the left and then right hand, yeah. And and then the left, the This is massaging your left side of the organs. It's very good for your diabetes. And then relax and do the opposite side. And relax. Now I do with you upon Vayu Mudra, two mudra together, and middle finger two will touch the tip of your thumb and the Vayu Mudra. This is called upon Vayu Mudra. So let those who had a re respiratory problem and can't go on a stairs or on a hill. With this mudra, you can easily go up 10 steps. So let's do the upan vayu mudra, two mudra together. Those who had a high BP, it also helps you. The last one, the Linga Mudra, the left hand will go up, thumb, and then to do the Linga Mudra, it heats up your body and helps in excess fulgum. Relax, rub your hands upward direction, which gives you the positive energy. Warm up very well. Touch your eye. Inhale, exhale. With a normal temperature, slowly, slowly open your eye and pass the energy to your whole body. The same health and safety warning as I told you, with the Baya Pranayam, Agnisa Pranayam. So please listen to your body. Now I'm going to do with you the Baya Pranayam, three bandhanas to lock up. A deep breath in. Hold your breath. Breathe out forcefully and then lock the Mula Bandha, Uddiya, and Jalandar Bandha to contract. And hold your breath. 
once you get the pressure on your lung or your heart, just take your head off, open the bandanas, vice versa, Jalandar, Udya, and Mula, and then one more time, a deep breathing. Breathe out forcefully, <laughs> tummy in, so rest of the air will be out. Then contract the three bandanas, Mula Banda, Udya, and Jalandar. Try to touch your chin to your chest so that you will lock up properly. Hold your breath. Take your head up, open the bandana, swasvarsa, and breathe in. Now I will do the Agni Sarkhayam. As you know the same, the deep breathing, you have to take your, your yarn mudra and push on your lap so that the back of your spine will be open. So just little bit press, okay? A deep breathing. Breathe out forcefully and push your tummy in, then you roll out or in and out. Tummy is very good for your digestive system. You are exercising the large and small intestine, massaging. And take your head off and relax. <coughs> and a deep <coughs> in. Breathe out fully, push your tummy in, and then roll out your tummy. Practice makes you perfect. Don't worry if you can't do a big amount, do this slowly, slowly, and then you will reach your goal. And relax. Now I will do the Ujjayi Prayam. <laughs> that we just active our thyroid gland. Let's press with your right hand, keep on your head, press. First breathe in, then press and hold it. And relax. One more time. And relax. Now the left hand to deep breathing. Press and hold. And relax one more time. And relax. Join your hands together. Take at the back of your head and your palm supposed to press here, okay? And relax one more time. And relax. Now bring in the front. Keep on your upper head. And relax. Let's do the Ujjayi Prayam. We have to use this active, your thyroid gland. So what do we do? First clear with the, if you had a throat, uh, a cough, then clear out, coughing. <coughs> Once you clear your throat, then shut the, from the mouth and reach up to the throat. <coughs> <coughs> Longer one. <laughs> Take your head down, lock the chalandar bandha, press a massage, little bit do the massage and hold your breath. And then with the left nostrils to breathe out. First to open the chalandar bandha and then to breathe out, okay? Never or ever to breathe out. Let's do the last time.
Open the Jalandar Bandha. And then breathe out. This is called Ujjayi Pranaya. <clears throat> now we all will do the Anulom Vilom. As you know, the right hand supposed to do with your thumb and you can do a Vishnu Mudra or you can do Vayu Mudra up to you, the left hand. So just do with the right hand to close your nostrils and left nostrils to breathe in. Hold your breath, change and breathe out the left nostril. Again, the left nostrils to breathe in. Right nostrils to breathe out. You can chant Gayatri Mantra or Om. Breathe in a rhythm. All your internal organs of the upper part get active and helps you in sinus, in headache, what they go, eye, your everything. Your thyroid problem also improves. Concentrate your third eye, keep your eye closed. Relax, rub your hands up for direction with the positive energy. Warm up very well. Touch your eye and then with the normal temperature, slowly, slowly open your eye and pass the energy to your body. Anyone can do half an hour. Anulom mm -hmm. Vilom is very good for your blood circulation and all your health. Yes. Try your best as much as find your time and do the Anulom Milom and Kapal Bhati. Let's do the Brahmari Pranayam, as you know, with the Kichri Mudra, to close your eyes, concentrate your third eye, lock the ear and nostril and upper head. And the humming three times. Mm. Okay. Mm. Concentrate your third eye with the Gyan Mudra to change the Udgit Prayam three times on. Let's everyone do together. Oh. Oh. 
Relax. While doing, you must have to join your mind, body, and soul. Now we will do the prana pranayam in a silent mode. Focus on your breathing. Relax, rub your hands up for direction, which gives you the positive energy. Warm up very well. Touch your eye with a normal temperature. Search slowly, open your eyes and pass the energy to your whole body. Let's do first the lion laughing and then do the prayer. Okay. As you know, in a lion, take your, keep your hands at the back and open your chest. It's very important. Now, deep breathing. Take your hand out. Ah! 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 More louder, more active your thyroid gland. It helps to you. Me. Seetal ke samne Mani ji ka awaaz bahut kam ho gaya. Kya baat? Hum hum Okay, now. What are you doing? The laugh. Ah, 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 laughing then the real laughing real laughing <laughs> join all together and do the prayer then keep your, at your third eye and with the heart you have to pray the okay om sarve bhavantu sukhinaina sarve santu niramaha Sarve Bhindrani Pashantu Mahakashi Dukha Bhavave Om Shanti 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 Om All be happy. May all be happy. May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all enjoy prosperity. May none suffer. May none suffer. May none suffer. Shanti. Om Shanti 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 Om. Swami Eva Mata Chapta. Swami Eva Bandhu. Swami Swami. Eva Vidya Dravidam Tameva Tameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Shakshat Para Brahma Tasme Sri Guru Venama Shanti, shanti, shanti. Yeah. Thank you, excellent. Well done. That was lovely. Thank class you. From Kitan Ji and Mani Ji. Jashi Krasna. Thank you. 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 Thank
Jessica Thank you, Rudy, Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.